Hi everyone, it's Rob Watson, the module leader for Tech 1502 Introduction to Community Media. And this is the overview uh, summary of the topics that we'll be covering in the uh, 14th lecture. Uh, so we're making very good progress at the moment. And the uh, title of this lecture is Participation and Engagement. And what I want to talk about are some of the ideas to do with the uh, the, the kind of shift in thinking towards participation and why participation is important as a, as a social practice, a media practice and as a community development practice. So something that fits really well with our aim as community media advocates, activists, me media makers, creators, is not necessarily to produce products, media artifacts, programs, reports, those kind of things themselves, as important as they are, our job is to help other people to participate in that process and to bring people into and give people a voice in the process of talking through their media. Uh, so this is quite an important uh, um, shift in ideas, if you like, that community media represents. And it's, it's part of, if you like, a move to a more dem democratic form of media engagement. And I think one of the things we can say and we've established is that there is certainly, you know, kind of in the UK, there's a democratic deficit in terms of um, how people feel their voices are heard in the political and civic system and how they're managed and marginalised by the mainstream and commercial system, which is, you know, kind of uh, more likely to be automated, more likely to be centralised, more likely to be hierarchical, more likely to be bound within, you know, enclaves behind locked doors than being something which is an open and social process. So one of the things that uh, this debate and discussion about media participation considers is the importance of civic engagement and civic discussion and kind of the ability that people have to talk about political issues, big P, small P issues. It doesn't have to be, you know, kind of party political issues, but, you know, people talking about how often their bins get collected or the, you know, the kind of the, the, the state of their high street or the kind of rudeness of people in society or whatever it is that's on their mind at that particular time. That's what, you know, we, um, we often don't get the opportunity to discuss these things, but community media can give people a platform to engage in these conversations in a different way. So it's the idea of thinking about what the kind of, uh, what participation is based on. And I think we've looked at this briefly in the past. We've looked at Sherry Arnstein's model of uh, ladder of citizens participation. And at the top, you've got a kind of a degrees, top downwards. You've got full citizens' participation and control. And at the bottom, you've kind of got manipulation. And in the middle, there's different levels along the ladder of to what extent people are either being treated tokenistically or in which way people are being empowered. So we want to be able to look at our media and our media culture. In And maybe the, the first question that we should insist is asked about our media organizations is not what the content is that they produce but how they empower citizens to take part in the social realm so this is kind of a, a way of thinking which is based around a kind of um, juxtaposition of ideas based around a set of media practices so we've got to figure out what these kind of media practices are and you're beginning to experience this in terms of producing your own news features and putting together your your newspaper magazine whatever it is that you're you're working on and it's that flux if you like between our social identity and our individual identity and what we're thinking about is how we hold them into some kind of balance and make sense of them so that we kind of understand or think one of the things we uh, need to think about is not confusing the end result the effect with a supposed cause to issues about participation and engagement. If people are reporting that they're uh, not feeling engaged with the political process, we've got to be very careful about what we ascribe to that disengagement. And we've actually got to look at the, the actual factors that drive that. And it could be that they, they are very different from what we anticipated and theorized in advance uh, you know we need to figure out what it is by going out there and working with people and observing people so participation is a really crucial issue because we you know how do we understand what drives participation 
what is it that in you know makes people feel comfortable and engaged that they can participate you know is it is it a case that we're talking the right language that we we are the right kind of people that people associate with people like them and that the lack of uh, visible reference to people of color and ethnicity people of different cultural diversities people of gen you know different genders the, the the kind of controls and the narrowness of some of these representations of identity are so narrow and fixed that people kind of get very frustrated and um you know it's, it's kind of apathetic about what can change because you're not seeing enough people who have that kind of identity and demonstrating the kind of transformative effects of participation so get people involved and you can manage you, you people's expectations about their entitlement to their voice and their civic participation can be changed. So we're thinking about this idea in terms of what we don't want to do is we, we don't want to repeat the pattern of a kind of autocratic and technocratic and managerialist approach to participation, but we want something which is self-defined by the community who engages in this themselves. And so it's the form of participation which is really built on a kind of sociability, a kind of sense of positive reinforcement, conversation and discussion. If people are talking, then they're participating and they're active. Uh, and then what do we look for in terms of the kind of uh, um, examples of how this is in action? So we'll look at some examples. We've got time banking and co-production are a useful example for this in terms of how they use new network-based social media technologies in order to be able to facilitate a kind of sense of reciprocity and a kind of sense of social solidarity through media. And that's where things like podcasting comes in and, you know, video reports and, you know, your YouTube channels and things like that because it gives us an opportunity to extend our sense of sociability in, in an age when people are reporting record levels of loneliness. Just having that conversation and being an ear... Uh, for people to listen to or having an ear yourself for people to listen to you is incredibly important. So, you know, we, we can't maybe just rely on the technology to provide the answers for this, but we've got to think about what the technology gives us the opportunities to do, what it affords us to do and what it affords us to, what it constrains us with. And then finally, one of the, 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 the kind of last thing that we look at really is the kind of sense of kind of ethics and uh, how we can model a process of, participative engagement that kind of really does you know question some of the assumptions that are made about participation uh, and you know crucially I think we you know I'll probably get this made as a tattoo at some point which is with community media and we should all learn to recite this it's like our pledge uh, you know we'll stand up at the beginning of our sessions and recite this pledge that it's not the products that you produce that matter in community media it's what you become in producing them so it's people focused. Uh, it kind of the products change and vary, and we can produce lots of different types of them. But how do people change? How have you changed? How will you change? How will the other people that you're engaged with change in the process of producing media content and sharing media content about issues that they're uh, of concern to them? So the notes are up on the D uh, DMU wiki, DIY, uh, sorry wiki.our.dmu.ac.uk looks like the sun's out this morning uh, so hopefully I'm not going to be stuck in the office too long or if I am in the office I'll open the windows the curtains and kind of let some light in shake away some of the winter blues uh, if you want to talk about any of these issues and topics as well as the workshops we have DIY, uh, DMU talk which is uh, talk.our.dmu.ac.uk. Just log into there, and there's a whole load of messages and uh, events and uh, media that you can look at from different modules. It'd be great to see if you can share some ideas on there as well, talk about the work that you're doing as well. Uh, it's a separate space from being crowded out by Facebook and things like that, so have a look at that and see how you get on with it. But I'll see you at the lecture on Monday morning. <laughs>